Why'd you come back? I was living in this incredible place, but it didn't smell like home. Richie, I answer telephones. I know, I'm lucky to be offered anything. Do you trust Luciana? She wants something from you. Work with that. If I take this role, I want to be part of the team. I want you to teach me how to be a producer. We want to really knock them dead, OK? Mangrove, I think this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Well, where are you going? Out with Jim Bunny. If you don't do what he says, does he make you get down and do 40 push-ups? I thought we clicked. Where's Jim Bunny? <laughs> I made some Russian caravan and I'm cooking your favourite dinner. Moroccan couscous. Steak with mashed potato. Lovely. In Australia, all we ask for is a fair go. We play fair. Unless you're a refugee, but that's another story. I didn't see a thing. <laughs> like, there's no conflict of interest here. What's wrong with you? You're not a sore loser, are you, Adam? No, I'm not a sore loser. <laughs> oh, <I can't. laughs> congratulations, George. Say it. Oh! Say it. Ah! Congratulations, George. Thanks. I appreciate the sporting way in which you played. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, try to control your woman, will you? Impossible. That's one of her charms. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Love to. All right. We can't. We've got to go get that stuff. Yeah, right. We should go do that then. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> See you, mate. See ya. Bye. Where'd you learn that arm thing, anyway? <laughs> My brothers. Right. I'm frightened of you. You realise that? Good. Was it fair to be with one guy and falling for someone else? Should you just break it off or just banish the thought? Or wait for a sign from the other party. So, how do I look? Every bitch in town will be hot for you. Is that a good thing for a children's show? I still have to hammer out some of these merchandising issues with you. You know, your percentage, when it kicks in, that sort of thing. And you made me put the suit on first. What do you mean? It's hard to negotiate when you look like a Muppet. Well, take the head off, then. Don't be so cynical. I'm on your side. And just to prove it, I got you something. To celebrate our partnership, I bought you a little gift. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is it? Uh, an invitation to my school reunion. Ten years. Are you going? No. Don't you want to know why? Oh, I can guess. Oh, you can, can you? Well, you're angry and you're bitter about what happened to you there. And you think the best way to get back at them is not to go. And as if your absence will make some loud statement, you know, as if that'll really show them. No, Carl, it's not it at all. No? Yeah, I'm not going because I'm past it. Over it, that's all, past it. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Good for me. See? Yeah. Glad you're over it. 
We're so used to people being unfair to us that we look for it everywhere we go. We read situations as if everyone's trying to take us down. Nicer. Mm, they must have cost like a grand. <laughs> Even nicer than Now, why would she give you such an expensive gift? To celebrate our partnership. She wouldn't want to fuck you, would she? Oh, Jesus, you are such a cynic. A jealous cynic. She's just one of those people. What? Those people who give inappropriate gifts to make other people feel guilty and beholden to them so they can rip them off. <laughs> Very funny. You think that's what she's doing? I think it's kind of strange. It's not. It's just what she does. And it's just pure giving. Well, no. There's generally a catch. Do you think I should give them back? You want to be seen as a professional, right? Yeah. How, how do I do that, though, give them back? Tell her you don't wear shirts. I'm over it. Past it. Over it. You just have to read it. I mean, it's... Oh, shit. To buy ass! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Is there a problem there, to buy ass? Yeah, my arm hurts. I mean, not that you feel physical pain, gorilla boy, but... To buy ass. To buy ass. To buy ass. You think you're over it, that it doesn't matter that the past is past. Then you realise you're full of shit and you're as angry as you ever were. And the chance to go look this prick in the eye can't be passed up. Hey, Gab. Do you want a coffee? No, I have to get to work. Hi, I'm Gab. Tidy's got no manners. Uh, I'm Alice. Sorry, Alice, Gab, Gab, Alice. We did that already. It was nice to meet you. You too. I'll see you later. Thanks. Would you describe Alice as your girlfriend? Girlfriend? Hmm, that's a big call. A fling then. I really wouldn't like to define it yet. How long has it been going on? I don't know, a couple of weeks. Where'd you meet her? She works at the hospital. Huh, this is just the first time you've brought her home. Why so many questions? Mm, I'm just surprised. That I have a girlfriend. So she is your girlfriend? I like her, we're having fun, that's all I know so far. Good for you. I'm glad you approved, Mum. Just interested, that's all. <sighs> yeah, hi. I'd like to RSVP for the reunion. Yeah, Evan Wild? And a T Wild? Tobias. Yep, okay. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Bye. Are you going? Yeah, you were right. Was I? Yeah, I have to go. Oh, you need closure? Yeah, I want an apology. That son of a bitch is gonna face me. What son of a bitch? David Ford. Ah, oh, you try to put it behind you. Forget about it. Tap it down. And then in the night it comes back. Ah, oh, it's like being a Nam vet. What if he doesn't apologize? No, I'll get revenge. That seems kind of immature. No, immature is pretending it doesn't matter. Revenge is a proactive attempt to grapple with one's own demons and come out the other side a whole new man with a selection of the other guy's fingers in a bag. Uh, isn't the best revenge to show them how you turned out, what you become? How will that hurt him? You're a novelist, a writer. You live the life the way you want. You followed your dreams. Kel, he's a Neanderthal, a pig. He doesn't get that. 
This David Ford, I mean, what is he going to be? As happy as you? As wonderful as you? No. That's your revenge, Evan. Who's Tobias? Me, it's my first name. Laugh and I'll kill you. <laughs> Carol? <laughs> no, okay. it's not funny. No, I'm a bit sensitive about this, okay? I'm gone. I'm trying to study and I can't if you're going to make noise. Jake, we'll be quiet. No, no, it's your house. I'll go. What did he do now? What had happened to him? What could possibly make me feel better about something that happened ten years ago? David Ford, look at you. Jet skiing accident. Ah. <laughs> Sliced my testicles off. <laughs> and your dick? Oh, yeah, <laughs> my dick. I owe you an apology. Nah. No, I pity you. That's enough for me now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you won in the end. Yeah, I guess I did. Would that be enough? Have you been? That's my wife. Yeah, I know. Uh, I read your book. You're probably a genius. Uh, uh, yeah. I know. I guess you win. Yeah, I guess so. Even the thought of justice gives one hope. It gives one... an erection? <laughs> What's that? A film. It's really good and I'm perfect for it. Oh, it's amazing how often that seems to happen. I know. I'm gonna get this, I've got a good feeling. When's the audition? I don't know. They haven't called anyone yet. They sent it to the agents, but I'm, I'm gonna be ready for it. Of interest, purely academic, are you going to call her back? Yeah. When? Soon. This is how it works. I get to see it up close and personal. The poor girl's left hanging. Why won't he call? Will he call? Should I call? And our hero just sits here drinking beer and reading about the cricket. Um, it's not cricket, it's football. And I will call. I'm just taking a moment of repose after a tough day. Tidy. You do know at this moment she's stressing out. She should relax. I'll call. She should relax? Yeah. I like her. She knows that. We're sleeping together, for God's sake. Yeah, maybe she needs to know it again. That seems very insecure of her. Mm, it's human. So you really think I should call? Why wouldn't you? Because I don't want to talk. I just want to hang out. Tidy, just call her and tell her even that. Everybody gets overly head up about this stuff. Everybody should just... Relax. Yeah. Let things happen naturally. I like her. I'm going to see her tomorrow night and I'm going to take her out for a romantic dinner. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Hi. Have this. What is it? It's a paperweight. Oh. It's for paper. I made it, and I, and I thought, who do I know that has paper? The writer guy. Hmm, exactly. Oh, it's beautiful. But does it work? Well done. Thank you. Ah, uh, you should get a job. Do this. Yeah, I know, I know. Job, flat, life, I'm onto it. Just getting over the whole back in town thing. I better go. Let's get back to all that work. Well, thanks for the paperweight. That's all right. I'm just glad it's gone to a good home, where it'll be loved. 
Well, I may neglect it occasionally, but I'll do my best. Bye. <laughs> See ya. OK, bye. Richie, I was just thinking about you. Um, you know, I don't wear shirts uh, very often with holes for these. All my shirts have buttons. Well, so buy new ones. Or I'll buy you new ones. No, no, it's not that. It's just... They're too extravagant. So? I'm uncomfortable with the level of extravagance. So if I bought you something cheap and tasteless, you'd be okay with that? I suppose. Richie, I value you. I look at you and think you deserve these. It's a reflection of my esteem for you. Oh. You have to learn to value yourself, Richie. But if you don't think you're worth it... No, I, I see your point. Good boy. Because look what else I got. Jana. Is that our money? So I've narrowed it down to demand an apology, fuck his wife, or hit him in the face with a hammer. Maybe I should come with you. Be your date. You're worrying me a little, Evan. Maybe you need a voice of reason. Reason has nothing to do with this, Kelly. This is about every day swallowing you. Your anger, your pride, your dignity. This is about getting rid of that feeling that's just stuck in your stomach. That's what it's about. Wow. Wow what? Are you serious about this? Yeah, I am. Haven't you got any happy memories of school? Friends you might see there? Yeah. Stinky and Jezza. Stinky and Jezza. Oh, he'll be sorry when I'm a wealthy novelist, respected and fawned over and with enough money to hire someone to kill him. <laughs> you know, when the revolution comes and this world is put right, I expect all you guys to get involved, you know? The Fords of this world have got to go. I just want to get out and have sex a lot. Have you had sex yet? Yeah, stinks. Give us the monthly update, yes, mate. Yes, I have. Uh, your cousin doesn't care. Oh, oh really? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. You're right? It's off. Sorry. We were like the three musketeers, and then we had spots and a penchant for poetry. <laughs> Oh, it'll be good to see them, right? Yeah, 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 well. Oh, we need to take care of the rent. I hate that word. I just... What word? The R word. Rimming. <laughs> rent! <laughs> Gotta find someone for Alex's room. We can't afford this girl. Do we know anyone? Move in. Yeah, it'll be great. Well, if you're sure, um, I mean, I don't have much money. <sighs> well, neither do we. It'll be perfect. I'll get a job soon, I promise. No, we just want someone we like. Hey. Yeah. Guess what? I'm moving in with Evan and Kelly. That's great. 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 If you want justice in this world, don't become an actor. What do you mean they don't want me to audition? Well, I thought you said I was seeing everyone. Not quite everyone. Oh, I don't get this. Did you beg them? Or what if I begged them? OK. OK, thanks. Fuck! All I want is a fucking chance. Is that too much to ask? No, what happened? Before I couldn't get a job, now, apparently, I can't even get auditions. Babe, you get auditions? Never at Hutchins. Jan Hutchins. Sh she must hate me. How could she hate you? I don't know. But what if the biggest casting agency in the country doesn't like you? You may as well just... give it all in. Well, I'll find out for you. <laughs> How? I have no idea, but I will. I will. Hi, Virginia May from Hoi Sin Pictures. I have an appointment. So, it'll be a Hong Kong action kind of thing, but set in Sydney. Sounds great. It'll be great. Well, I'd love to see a script. I'll have someone courier one over. So, who's hot, Jan? Well, I've uh... heard some names. Let me throw a couple at you. Miranda Lang. I don't really rate her. I've heard good things. Oh, that's interesting. 
I think we can do better. She's beautiful and talented. What the fuck are you talking about, do better? Excuse me? I'm just surprised. I, I mean, I've seen her work, and if that's your taste, then I just don't think this is going to work out. Thank you for your time. Hi. I'm, I'm looking forward to tonight. Oh, yeah, I was actually going to look for you. Um, do you mind if we make it another night? Why? I've just had a really tough day. I'm exhausted. It wouldn't be much fun. Oh. Is that okay? Sure. It's fine. Thanks. I'll make it up to you. Another night, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sorry I didn't ring you last night. I understand. You do? Sure. Thanks, Alice. Yeah. I can't believe you did that. I can't believe she saw you. It's business. People will see anyone if they think there might be bucks in it for them. You'd be amazed. I am amazed. So? What did she say? Sweetie, she's a bitch. I wouldn't worry about her. It's business. I have to worry about her. Just tell me. She didn't rate you. Why not? Well, I could have found that out, but I made a tactical error. What? I swore at her. <laughs> what are you going to do? What can I do? Change her mind. That short film you made, that's nearly finished. It's great. Have a screening, stack the crowd with friends, and win her over to your immense talent and charm. <laughs> <laughs> So, I guess you really told her, huh? I discussed it. We'd misinterpreted. But she values me as a business partner. She's teaching me the ropes. I have to look the goods. She showed you the suit and you buckled. Yeah, feel that. Hmm? There is logic to it, to what she says. Well, if you say so. As long as you know what you're getting into. I know. I made it very clear to her. I look good, right? Good enough. Easy. I don't want to get it creased. We're having dinner at her place on Friday. Ten bucks is just the two of you and she's wearing only a serviette. <laughs> Charlie's invited too. Right, OK. Well, I'm going to work. I'll leave you to it. Whatever it is. You think the suit's good? Yeah. You know the best thing about an expensive suit on a man? Tearing it off a man? Shouldn't you be at dinner? I cancelled. You cancelled dinner? Yeah. Oh, did you tell her about it or were you too relaxed for that? I told her about it and for your information, she was fine about it. What led you to believe that? She said, it's fine. She said, I understand. Boy, are you in trouble. What? She's not fine and she doesn't understand. Just because you wouldn't be. Just because she's not high maintenance like you would be. You think I'd be high maintenance? Yeah. Like how? Like, want you to talk to me, put me first occasionally, make me feel loved and wanted, all that stuff? Yeah. You're an idiot. No, from your point of view is all I'm saying. You just see everything from your point of view. Right, and whose point of view should I see it from? You see, this is why we could never be together. Why, because I'm a woman and you want a doormat? Miranda, thanks for the flowers. 
Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's my job. Never let it be said I don't have an open mind. What did you think? Well done, you. Good's not the word. What is the fucking word? I'm oh, sorry. I need to know what you think of me. Well, it's not a personal thing, Miranda. I mean, whether you're my cup of tea or not, it's immaterial. That's crap. Well, you're not doing yourself any favours. I've got nothing to lose. Will you get me auditions? If an appropriate role comes up, of course. Appropriate? That's right. I need to know the truth. No, you just think you do. Please. This is my life. Well, if you want my opinion, it shouldn't be. You haven't got it. You're young and pretty, but think of five years, ten years' time. Now do yourself a favour and give it up now. Find something you're really good at. Oh, my God. Well, you asked. Look, I wish you well. I really do. And good luck to your little friend with a Hong Kong flick. Hey, Alice. How about tonight for dinner? Uh, I'm busy. You are? You understand, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just thought... I mean, you're fine with that, right? I'm sorry if I... Just relax, okay? We had fun. I took it too seriously. Embarrassed myself. That's not right. I got the message, Tidy. It was just a fling. Good. Fling is flung. You ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Should I bring a knife? No, Evan, you shouldn't. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I thought I'd cook your dinner up. I got takeaway, so technically I didn't cook it, but. I'm going out with Evan to the reunion. Oh. Right. Okay then, um. Have a great night. I'll, I'll see you later. Jake! He's kind of infuriating, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Let's just go. Just get what you always get. I can't. I have to get something that impresses her. Could you get shallower? It's not shallow. It's etiquette. She bought me a $2,000 suit and I'm going to give her six Picardi breezes. What does that say? Well, you're a teenage girl. Maybe this one. That's 200 bucks. Wasn't that enough? It'll do. Let's just go. So, what are you going to do when you see him? Oh, I'll just walk up to him. And then? I'll demand satisfaction. He'll stammer and prevaricate, be stunned by what I have to say. If he's here, I mean, maybe the thought of having to face me was too much for him. I should have brought a glove to slap him with. Oh, better than a knife, I guess. Hey. Evan? You think it'll be easy. You've seen it in your head. You're a grown man. You've fought and fucked your way through ten years and then... you feel sixteen again. Is that him? That's him. Hey, Ford. Hi. Um, Wild, Tobias Wild. Hi, how are you? You don't remember me. Oh, I'm sorry, it's been ten years, right? It's nice to see you, though. I'll see you around. That wasn't how it was supposed to go at all. Richie, Charlie. Mwah. Mwah. How are you? Richie, how gorgeous you are in this suit. Cuffs? <laughs> He's a picture, isn't he? I brought a bottle. This isn't a student party, Richie. We have wine. 
Come in and meet people, important people we have to impress. Understand? I understand. Well, what are you doing? I'll put it back in the car. It's a gift. It's an insult, a $200 insult we can drink later. When you've impressed all those important people. Oh, shut up, okay? This is important. My protege, Richie, a.k.a. the mongrel. <laughs> I'm teaching him the ropes, reshaping him in my own image. Go on, growl. Come on, Richie, growl. Growl. <laughs> how can he not know who I am? I mean, this fucking prick to find my school life. I mean, am I nothing to this guy? How can your nemesis not know that you exist, Cal? Are you okay? Oh. Fine, it's just. He wins again. You know, I'm nothing to it. Evan! <laughs> oh, Sticky! <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it's great to see you, mate. It's <laughs> really good. Hey, oh, this is a very dear friend of mine, Kelly. Nice to meet you. So, you're a you're, 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 uh, Harry, Harry Krishna. Oh, who told? <laughs> <laughs> but have you seen, um,. Cheza! Evan! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, oh. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> Hi, Jezza. Jezza, it's, it's stinky. Oh. Thought it was a woman from behind, eh? Huh? Oh, very funny. What the fuck happened to you? Um, go easy on him, Jezza. It's stinky. You always were a spineless one. When we condemn or justify, we cannot see clearly, Jeremy. I'm going to ignore you in the hope that you'll piss off. Who's this? Uh, um, this is a friend of mine, Cal. What's happened to you two? You know, white men are supposed to propagate the race, not become faggots and hang That's out That's it. With... <laughs> Lucky punch, Hari. I'm sorry, Cal. I guess he's changed. Oh, he always was a bit extreme. I suppose he switched sides. Five years of inner tranquility, and that bastard. I need a drink. <sighs> me too. Mm, me too. Evan, mm. he's looking at you. Hmm? Ford, he's smiling. He knows who you are. Son of a bitch. Don't say anything, Chloe, it won't help. Don't listen to a Miranda. You don't know what this means. She's the biggest casting agency in the country. It's a small country. This is a disaster. Life is not easy for any of us. But what of that? We must have perseverance and, above all, confidence in ourselves. We must believe we are gifted for something and that this thing must be obtained. Thank you. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. When did you get so wise? Since I looked up quotes on the internet. <laughs> First one was Marie Curie. Second one was Winston Churchill. And finally, Samuel Pepys reviewing a new play. It is the worst, most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. The play, A Midsummer Night's Dream. I am the greatest. OK, the quality's dropping. Enough. I get it. Oh, hi, what was it? Wild. Drop it, Ford. I know you remember me. Yeah, of course I do. I just didn't want to get into it, that's all. Yeah, I thought so. Well, I understand the shame you must feel, so... Perhaps the best thing is that you just offer me an abject apology for all the shit you put me through. All the shit I put you through? That's an interesting take on how it all happened. Sorry? I think we both know where's an apology here. Oh, do we? 
Oh, what? I bruised your fist, did I? No, just my psyche. What are you talking about? You know, about? your constant remarks about me being a gorilla, a jock, a moron, well, they led me to feelings of shame and insecurity which manifested themselves in me acting violently towards you, which led to more damage to my soul and the perversion of my personal philosophies and my very nature. No. That's... What, you didn't say any of that? You know, you really did me some damage, Evan. An apology would be welcome if you're a big enough man to do it. Will you think about it? I know you feel better if you do. Hey, what are you doing? I'm looking for meaty bites. <laughs> I have no dignity. Well, that's true. But working with Luciana, that might be a good thing. You know, I have no idea when to do what she says or when to do what I think is the right thing to do. Has anyone ever been sacked because they're not good at parties? Off Whitlam. Or oh, was that over something else? See, there you go. Witty and charming. Now get out there and do it. What are you two doing? We were gonna fuck before dessert, but the chef tells me it's ready now, so I guess we should go back out. Charlie, you are so droll. Come on, Richie, there is work to do. No, I won't growl anymore, okay? What? I'm not your pet or your, your gigolo or your, your dumb child or whatever it is you want. We have a business arrangement, that's all. I make no distinction. Business and life, it's all one to me. Well, it's not to me. I, I want this to work, but you have to understand there are lines and it's unfair of you to cross them. No, it's true, you're right, you're right. I apologise. I didn't mean to make you feel anything but welcome. Are we clear? Crystal. Good. Now, come on. I told Bert Newton you'd sing for him. She is who she is. <laughs> he wants an apology. Yeah. I damaged him. Evan, he beat you and tormented you. Just because Aborigines threw spears occasionally doesn't mean we pushed the English into genocide and we should say sorry. He was really convincing, Cal. He's a barrister. He's paid to be a convincing lawyer. He's laughing at you. You have to get him. Cal, you're supposed to be the voice of reason. I don't like him. He's just preying on the fact you're a good person. Just go punch the fucker. I've got your back. Really? No. I still can't face them. Oh, God, look at us. We're just back where we were. Was I a victim or guilty? Was it all part of life's rough and tumble and I just had to leave it behind? My mind could see all sides and I knew the truth. We're not the same people, Stinky. They're not going to make us feel like we are. Okay, let's just forget about them. It's over and done with. Hey, to buy us. You pick up a lot in 10 years in the real world. Oh. You get what you want and then you realise you need more. Why? What? Why? Oh, because you weren't afraid of us, so I had to make you. <laughs> Some moments in your life are like the end of a movie. Precise and defining. Life's hardly ever so clear and clean. So when these moments come, enjoy them. Fling is flung. Yeah. I screwed up. You were right. Gloat away. Mm. You know, look at it this way. If you were mad for her, then you wouldn't have stayed at home when you could have been with her. I liked her. I didn't mean to hurt her like that. It was just... Careless? <laughs> Where would I be without you? You're living in a world of self-deceit. But I'd be happy. Now, isn't this more fun? Yeah. It is. <laughs> Hey, George, the arm thing, it worked. What arm thing? Just, thank you. Ah, pleasure. <laughs> okay, okay, break it up. <laughs> so what's with the clothes? Yeah, the reunion. Oh. You went? Yeah, I went. And I won. I beat my school nemesis. <laughs> Let me buy you two a drink. You got a nemesis? 
He pretended he didn't recognise yeah. me, right? He was like, oh, oh, who are you? And I confronted him and I just said, hey, son. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why, though. No, it's a secret. Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe we should go. Yeah, no, you go if you want. I'm fine. Hey, tell me what it's like to, to have all these people. What? Go if you want, Christian. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Maybe we should call it a night. Well, we were having fun. He can go. No, I've got stuff to do anyway. I'm sorry. What's wrong? Do you think I'm stupid? Could you throw yourself at Evan a little harder? I'm not! I wasn't! It's embarrassing, George. What, you think I'm just gonna stay with you until you see how things work out with him? Christian! Well, tell me I'm wrong! I didn't mean to do that. I, I wasn't thinking. Do you want to be with him? That's a, that's a yes, right? Christian, I don't... You're a real piece of work. Move in with him, slide right into his bed, mine to his. Barely even have to spend a night alone. You can move out tomorrow. There's, there's no point wasting any more time with me. to happen and, and, I, and I wasn't keeping you safe just in case I'm, I'm sorry if I if I hurt you or, or embarrassed you me too I gotta go to work Buddy. Hey, Kel. Uh, you want to come see your room? Christian must be pretty devastated you're moving out. We broke up. Oh, when? This morning. Why? Just did. Um, I have to go and write. Sometimes justice is simple. A villain, a good guy, good guy wins. Then there's those times where everyone's a good guy, but it feels like no one wins. Then there's the sort of justice where you feel like you've just fucked things up really badly, lost everything, just because you didn't think about if you were being fair and you've paid the price. Guess what? I got a green card. Oh my god! You're coming too, aren't you? To America? I want to be with you. I am sorry. Shut up. Fergus is sick again. I think we can get him through this bout, but. Thanks. Where are you staying down here? Not sure yet. You might as well just camp on the couch at our joint. Kelly got a boyfriend? Yeah. You've got nice skin. It's a good colour. You know when. Some people have a bad energy and some people don't. What are you up to? Are you out for a drink? No, I really gotta study. Oh, work and no play. 